everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel as you can tell by the title of this video that this is like a story time why I quit Chipotle and my name as you can tell by the bottom of this video is Candace um and I'm just gonna jump right into this to it um I'll give you a little bit back history though I have worked June 6th would have been my three year anniversary for working for Chipotle um I've worked at five Chipotle stores. I worked at two in Washington, D.C., and I worked at one in Maryland, and I worked at two in Florida. Um, and I love it. I will also make a video for you guys if you want to work at Chipotle. I've seen some of them. I didn't really watch them. But, yeah, so how to get the inter inter interview, get it out, at Chipotle. Um, so I'll just go now. I can just, like, go into the story. So, my manager at the last location that I worked at, which was in Florida, I have worked with him at a previous location in Florida as well. And he's a general manager. It's not like he's new. Like, I was hurt. I was so hurt because I gave this man the title of being my most, like, the best manager I have ever worked under. Um, like, even, like, after working in D.C. and then coming to Florida, it was like, I love my manager there. But, like, this man, he was, like, not necessarily a father, but, like, you know, a very, like, a really good influence on me. Like, I know his backstory and all that other stuff. So, it was, it's just, like, how this man can go from all the way up here. Like, I'm, like, low-key, like, praising this man. Like, always telling people, oh, my God, I love him. Yada, yada, yada. He's not that bad. People, like, coming to me, like, I hate this man. You know, I don't understand. Blah, 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 blah. And I would stick up for him. Like, <laughs> it's just so, like, messed up. And to now where it was, like, I would slice this man's tires. Um, I really was going to slice his tires. But, okay, let me explain. But, anywho, back. So three months go by, you know, I'm like, we have top performers at Chipotle. Um, and this man, first of all, I would, went from making like 37 hours a week to like making 21 hours a week. And I had a problem with that um, because we were training people, but these people that we were training were even being trained properly um plus i'm in school so like i always worked ever since i've been working for Chipotle since i was a sophomore in college i worked 40 hours a week as well as being a full-time student um so and it was for Chipotle so it's like it was never been a problem like i was the one that would train people like I, I wasn't mad that somebody else was training them i was mad because my hours were being cut i live in an apartment by myself i pay my rent you're cutting my hours. I'm basically not, I'm not saying like I'm living check to check, but it's like all the money that I make goes to my bills. And it's like, I have a little bit left over. I don't have any like hours to spare to not be evicted. And it's like, this is my first apartment and it's, I don't have roommate. Like I'm paying everything by myself. Um, with the help of my family sometimes, you know, thank you. I love you guys. Um, so that was like the first thing. And I kept explaining, I was like, um, can you please not cut my hours? Like, I understand you have new people that you want to impress. I understand that. But at the same time, these people live with their parents. I don't live with my parents. Um, I live by myself. And so he was like, okay, I'm sorry, you know. But yeah, it's like, all right, Carl. Mm, I almost put his name out there. It's like, all right, you know, you got this. Cool. It was fixed. It wasn't like fixed like that but it was like you know gradually you know I got my hours back um and then it was just a bunch of confusion you know there's like we had a staff of at least like 20 something people you know morning shift and night shift um but it always seemed like there were four or five people that aren't managers some of them are yes but Three of us are not managers and we're sitting here doing things like you're asking us to do all of this. And it's like, why are we always the only three people that you're asking to do all of these tasks? And it's just like, you have 
14 other people that you guys to do this but every every week it's always us and it's like all right i'm trying to, i'm making it seem like it's a big deal but it's it's like all right you know how we have to like detail and clean things like there's 15 other people i don't mind doing it i honestly i don't mind doing it but it's like why am why why am i always being the one asked to do it and then it's and then you know there's small things it's like other people that we work like that i worked with we noticed it we make comments about it it's a joke but it's not a joke so i mean i never like you know made a big issue about it i did it i mean me being me you asked me to do something i would tell you no but you and i both know i'm going to do it never been a problem blah and so we go on you know I'm still being asked to do all of these things and i'm just like all right cool whatever i figured you was going to ask me to do it anyway so I do my job i love the couple customers it was never anything about a customer it was never any beef between me you know, well it was never really any beef between me and somebody else it's just like you know a teammate or anything like that no um I mean, there are some people I don't like, but you don't like, you can't like everybody. So, yeah, that's just that. And then, now we're back to, like, my last two months. Um, he just, he wasn't, like, you could see him becoming, like, an un, like, you know how you have those managers that are understanding about their team? Well, he's, his expectations, I guess, like, his high, his, like, his bosses were getting on him. And then he was like trying to take it out. He's not really taking it out on us, but you know, trying to make us do things that we don't normally do. But when somebody else comes, you know, oh, do this, do it this way, do it this way. It's like, for me, it's just like, why don't you teach me how I'm supposed to do it at all times so I don't have to, oh, do something this way when somebody comes here. It's just like, no, like just do it right all the time and you don't have anything to worry about. And like, he even says this like, oh my God. So he goes, this is like before anything. He was like, well, you know, I want you guys to know, know how to do everything right, you know, so when everybody comes, it's just natural, you know. If you want to be restaurateur, then yeah. Um, so it's like when they come, it's just like we already know how we're doing it. We're just going to get our grade A, blah, 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 blah. Then we're going to get the okay to become a restaurateur. All right, cool. But then when the man comes, it's like, oh, you're doing it wrong. Well, tell me how I'm supposed to do it, you know? Tell me how... Cutting fajitas. Okay, I've done everything. Like, I didn't, like, get validated on grill, but I was validated on prep, line, cash, and I could work a grill middle shift. Like, I wouldn't... I could open grill, but I would never close grill. Sorry. Not sorry. Um, <laughs> but it's just too much. So, anywho. But, yeah, so it's just, like, those type of small things, it's like, it, you... If you worked for a company for so long and it's like why don't you know it's like i do know but when i do it one way they'll be like oh you really don't have to do it that way so do it this way and it's just like okay and when i do it that way when a man comes to you know check out the store see everything you know how we clean how we work blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like they're not they aren't going to tell you the the his bosses aren't going to tell us they're going to tell carlos and then they'll ask us and be like oh you know ask us questions why do you do this are you supposed to do this blah 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 and i'm like really good at that so it's like I, when i get a job it's like i take on that job i will like study outside of the job but it's not really anything you have to study for Chipotle, like except the definitions and you know the definition basically um top performer um it's been so long the the vision what's the top performer what are high standards um and all that was empowerment all that good stuff um so yeah and then it was like my last month i don't know what was going on with this man like i'll tell you this man will give somebody a break as soon as they clock into work and this is where i started to have a serious problem he never he never told me you know when i clock in go on break smart man but um very smart man um because he'll do it to other people and i like i understand you know these are other people's like this is what they have to do like this is what they need to do blah blah blah, blah. and that's what i that was in that point at a point in time it's like i would take anything even though it was not right so i'm already in the process of like getting a second job um 
I work at Sprint as well. But I've worked as like you guys, if you watch my videos, you know like I worked at Sprint and I worked at Chipotle. Those are my two jobs that I will go go to back in the day, like last year, um, around this time. Um, but last year around this time I was working at both Chipotle and I was working at both Sprint. Now I'm just at Sprint. I love it. Anywho. So I have a friend. We'll call him Rio. Okay, so <laughs> Rio works grill. Rio is like one of the best workers I've ever seen in my life at Chipotle for grill anyway. Um, I'm so proud to say that I was in the process of, like I was in his interview process to get hired. I love it. I love Rio. So Rio, again, he's an amazing worker. He's the top performer. He exceeds all the expectations to be a top performer. Um, but this man, like it, it really pisses me off. Like I just, he does it because he has to pay bills. I understand. But he clocks in at 5, 4.30, 5 o'clock. As soon as he clocks in, you go on break. And then you expect this man I mean, I don't know. You expect him to work another full eight hour shift, like with no break. And it's just like, are you crazy? Are you serious? The point of a break is to work, break, work, not work for eight hours with no break. It doesn't make any sense. Um, not in my book. So it's cool. So this man, he did the same thing to me. I worked for 30 minutes and he sent me on break. The first time he did that, it was a problem. Um, it was a serious problem. Like, like when he did it to me, I, like, in my mind, I quit. I wasn't coming back. Um, I was like, are you serious? I was like, um, can I take a later break? He told me, no. You can either take your break or go home. Base. I'm out. Left my tips. <laughs> Love it. I really didn't care. I was like, all right, cool. I'm done. I was already done with this shit. Ooh. I was already done with his stuff. And, like, me and a couple other people, I was like, I'm about to quit. Like, I can't do this, man, no more. I can't do. We were all joke about it. Okay, let me know when you put your two weeks in because I'm leaving right after you. All right, cool, bet. Um, like, but I wasn't joking. I was like, it's so serious. I was going to get my job at Sprint, cut my hours to eventually not just eventually leave and put it in my two weeks. Um... But no, so when he did this, I left my home, I called my mom, I called my grandparents, I told him everything that happened, the whole nine yards, and then I was just like, my mom told me to come home. My mom lives two hours away from me from where I live out in Florida, so I went, technically an hour and a half when I drive, um, but so I went to my mom's, was there. This fan calls me the next day, are you coming in today? No, sir. I almost said his name again. No, I quit. He was like, what? What do you mean? Like, he was like, no, why would you, da, da, da. I said, um, then you, did you or did you not tell, I was like, what did you say? He said, then he repeats what he said, he says, I told you to either go on break or go home. I wasn't telling you to quit, da, 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 da. this man, he really didn't want me to get paid unemployment. I was like, my mom was like, come on, we want to do this, like, give me all the information, we want to fill out the papers, blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, it's okay man call me i'm gonna go back to work seven days later i've worked with another manager no problems i work with another manager no problems like like this man can catch these pants. but anywho so i work with this man again on the same exact day seven days later and i was like i was praying to god i was like god you know please let this man get it right this time don't let him you know mess up and I was just like all right cool it worked worked this time it wasn't 30 minutes it was like 40 45 minutes I was just like I was annoyed because I'd rather go on break in the middle just because you don't feel like coming up in the front and doing stuff that you should be doing anyway like I don't know how he's treating his employees now but I know I called HR and gave them a bunch of mess but I'm gonna tell you why. Cause this is this is the seventh day, all right? On the seventh day, he rests. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But so this man goes, and I was like, 
I wasn't going to be a dick about it like I was the first time. I was like, okay, if I go on break now, you know, can I get like a 10 minute break later? Because everybody else, you know, they smoke. So they always get their little 10, five to 10 minute break to go smoke. I was like, okay, cool. It's fine. You know, I'll go on break. I'll eat now. I was hungry anyway. Um, so I was going to eat food. And then he told me, no. I said, okay. Um, that's fine. Then I was, then he said, then he goes, because I was about to leave. I grabbed my keys after he told me no. Then he was like, um, you know, and then he was like, wait a minute. Then he was like, I mean, this is when he was trying to be mean, I guess. We'll be, no, no, no. I didn't say, oh, okay, no. He said no. And I was just like, um, does that make any sense to you? He was like, yeah, because Chipotle pays for your break. So I'm not obligated to give you a break at all anyway. I was like, oh, for that's when I'm like, okay. I was like, oh, for real? He said, yeah. I was like, okay. Can you repeat that again? No. Let me, let me, let me say it. <laughs> this is, this, these are my exact words. I was like, okay, no, let me say it so I can know that I understood what you said. So I was like, um, so you're telling me that because Chipotle pays for my break, you don't have to give me a break at all, even if I'm working an eight hour shift. No. Oh, okay, grab my keys, you have a nice day. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, I quit, I'm done. He was like, you quit? I was like, yeah, I'm good. You have a nice day. He was like, okay, thank you for everything you've done, Candace, blah, 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 and I left. I was really gonna slice that man's tires. I really was going to slice that man's tires, like, but I didn't because he has his wife and he has a kid and it's like, I'm not that person. I thought about it. I prayed about it. I asked for God for my forgiveness because I was really going to slice that man's tires. Um, you are blessed. You are very blessed <laughs> because I didn't do it. You are so blessed. So anyway, let me stop playing. But yeah, so that's why I quit. And then the thing is, come to find out, and I knew from jump because I, again, like I worked for Chipotle for so long. I knew from jump, it's like you you made up something and i really could have got unemployment off of it but i was only out of work for a week because god is amazing um but like i said god is amazing um and i still could have got the unemployment check but you know sorry um but again i called hr there was hr they were going to give me my job back too um the funny thing is i would have went straight straight back actually no i wouldn't have i probably would have went the warming um but this shit's hilarious because i'm lost for words i still like i'm i was hurt i'm not hurt now like i go in there and he, he makes it a his his like obligation i guess to speak to me and i'm like i look at this man like why are you talking to me how are you he's like how are you doing i'm good how are you i saw some customers and they said that um the service is completely since I've been gone because I'm not the only person that left another person left I'm so excited but yes mammy this video was for you um and that is why I quit Chipotle um yeah it wasn't really all juicy I really made this for my cousin because I didn't want to like explain to all of the fans because that would have been too much don't just watch me and I'll put it out there for anybody else who wants to watch it <laughs> but yeah so I hope you guys kind of enjoy this video i mean it's pretty like you know not something like you kind of enjoy but it's like hope you guys learned something or got something from this video because i can't could really go all into detail i'm not into putting somebody else's business out there i put my business out in my situation and i won't lie i would still if i look if i look like a butt i look like a butt but um yeah so that was the story um i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys subscribe and give me more video ideas Oh, yeah. Bye.